The Orphea system is housed in an external pod which is attached to the existing centerline rack. As a first action of preparation for a reconnaissance mission, the target characteristics are discussed. Navigational details such as heading, altitude and speed are worked out. The pre-flight inspection is performed. The old Delft Orphea system contains one forward-looking camera, four sideways-looking cameras, an infrared line scanner, a junction box, a frequency converter, and a water tank for the air conditioning system. Pre-flight preparation consists mainly of loading it with six magazines for 70mm standard aerial film. The left and right cameras cover the target area from horizon to horizon. The forward-looking camera provides quick reference coverage. The infrared line scanner will scan a 120 degrees wide strip in vertical or oblique positions. The self-contained pod concept makes only minor modifications to the aircraft necessary. The coated windows are protected against runway dirt and dust. In flight, they can only be opened after the landing gear is in the up position. The Orphea system is developed in close cooperation of the Royal Netherlands Air Force, Fokker VFW and the optical industry The Old Delft, assisted by the National Aerospace Laboratory, the Netherlands Agency for Aerospace Programs and other national institutions. Approaching the target area, the automatic mode is selected. The pilot only has to push the button. Frame rate and film speed were automatically adjusted to velocity and altitude. During aircraft rocking, the infrared line scanner is kept in the correct position by the stabilization circuitry. Back 
take home, the Fokker Mobile Film Processing Unit of the 306 Squadron will take care of the mission results. The six film magazines are removed from the system, an operation that can be performed within 15 seconds. The Fokker Mobile Film Processing Unit is a highly independent and mobile unit. It has its own power generators. There are four automatic processing machines each capable of handling three films at the same time. Two coupled containers provide ample space for pilots' debriefing and film interpretation. Standard equipment includes communication, enlargement and printing facilities.
low and fast reconnaissance flying requires a high degree of system autonomy. The brains of the system, the junction box. Here, via the aircraft to pod umbilical cord, data such as altitude and speed, cockpit control panel settings and the necessary power are received, processed and distributed to the main units. Simultaneously, the status of operation is monitored and with any deviation, like a film which is fully consumed, a signal is sent to the cockpit. The infrared scanner makes use of the thermal radiation present day and night from any target. This is contrary to normal cameras, which can only be used when sufficient daylight is available. The infrared radiation can pass unattenuated through the atmospheric window. The radiation from a small scan spot on the ground is focused on the infrared detector, which translates the small differences of spot temperatures into a weak electrical signal. After amplification, this signal drives a light source, which throws its light spot on the film in perfect synchronism with the spot on the ground. This picture shows the thermal character of the infrared line scanner. The power plant is cooled by river water. When dumped back into the river, it shows up black in the picture. Relatively cool parts are white. Two individual optical channels are used to continuously scan the terrain. The rotating mirror provides for scanning across the flight direction. The aircraft speed creates the distance between successive scans. Small temperature differences of one-tenth of a degree Celsius can so be visualized with an unbelievable resolution. The infrared radiation of the left and the right part of the scans reaches the detector through separate optical channels. An optical switch provides for switchover from one channel to another. At Fokker VFW, producers of the F-27 Friendship and F-28 Fellowship aircraft, the Orpheus pods and the mobile film processing units are produced. The backbone of the pod structure is assembled in the main jig. testing phase starts with a functional check of window cover operation. An extensive test of the vital air conditioning system is carried out. Airflow, equivalent to the cooling air conditions occurring during the most severe flight circumstances at high ambient temperatures and almost sonic speed, is supplied to the pod air intake. The air conditioning system sprays water into this air, thereby reducing the temperature to a more reasonable value for cooling purposes. Special attention is paid during this test to trace any leakage of water.
After completion of the severe testing phase, the pod is packed in a container and ready for transport to Delft. The optical industry, the old Delft, is the main contractor for production of the Orpheus system for the Royal Netherlands Air Force. Besides this field, the company is experienced in research, development and production of optics, electron optics, electronics, data processing, cameras for X-ray diagnostics and passive night observation equipment. When the reconnaissance equipment has passed the final testing phase, it is incorporated in the pod. This completes a long phase of manufacturing and testing that required highly skilled personnel and extensive quality assurance. The company is qualified according to Allied Quality Assurance Publications, AQAP1. Precision and accuracy are the keys of scanner assembly. Assembly of the recording head requires the greatest accuracy. The light spots on the film must be positioned within a tolerance of a few micrometers. If one realizes